class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? Time for some Cody Rhodes Endless Nightmare Boss Battle. We are in the bargain bin right now. So if you haven't seen the top four video, check it out. I will link it up here. But beyond that, this is your chance to maybe not have some of the strongest four or five or six uh, guys to do the most damage, but you want to actually help out your team. So we're going to list a bunch of people that you can use that will either help you with more protect him damage, with more purple gem damage, or increased multiply gem damage. So let's bro. Uh, first off on the list, uh, just as a reminder, damage per turn. We see this every boss. We do have a shield that will require 100 purple gems at the highest level. No boss breaker can stop that, so no more neutralize. That's gone. Gone are those days. The boss will heal themselves 20% starting on their second turn. And starting on their second turn, they will freeze two moves. So you got to make sure you have in the focused category, you got to have yourself unfreeze to help you and your teammates there. So uh, let's hit the different categories and see what you can bring to the table that can help either with the shield or just in general do some damage while you get carried by your teammates. So, all right, let's bro that way. So the first category we're going to look at is uh, the focused uh, category. Um, and in the focus category, there's several uh, options here that you can use um, that are going to do some damage. One of them is going to be the great Kali. Um, Kali is going to be able to increase purple gem damage right there um, and then he's going to be able to destroy uh, a bunch of trap gems uh, if we're broken by us they're going to make a bunch of purple gems right there so increased purple gem damage uh, as well as being able to create a lot on the board makes Kali a really easy pick uh, to start off the bargain bin but we got more than that Next on the list, uh, beyond the great Kali, someone who could also do some pretty good damage is actually Stunning Steve. Uh, Stunning Steve has um, snowfalls. They are going to make it into black gems, but he does have a multiply gem uh, move set and a choose move set um, that would be able to choose at least some purple gems uh, to go with. Uh, making all the green gems into multiply gems. It's not the most ideal or the best sort of setup to work with, but again, we're just looking for people that can do something rather than uh, just anybody. So beyond those two, uh, the next on our list, uh, let's hit into uh, the purple of uh, gems. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, this is the niche one that a lot of people probably won't have, but somebody who does make purple gems and has a bunch of multiplied gems is Ghostbuster Hogan. Uh, so that's somebody that only a few of you can use, but you get the idea of just trying to list people uh, that can be helpful uh, in that category. Uh, another person that you can use if you've actually taken him up high enough uh, is Otis, or at least when he was at this stage, he was Otis. Um, and he does have damage per protect gem, does make a lot of protect gems, easy, recycles pretty well. Uh, so Otis might be somebody else that you could use uh, in this category. Uh, I think that might be about it on my list. So let's hit up to the next category. I'm sure I missed somebody. Uh, I tried to look at Rosie again. I paused the video. Don't tell anybody. Uh, but he didn't seem to be doing that much there. But if you saw the other video, that would probably be the best person is Billy Rieger. So let's hit into the chaotic category and we can go over some of uh, who's the best uh, in the chaotic category. So I had mentioned it in the other video that Devon is probably the number two in the category behind the, the zombie Usos. Um, so he'll be here as probably the number one if you guys have him. Uh, he's going to be uh, his ability to run this triple purple, getting the multiplies, making all of them into purple gems and so forth. Uh, is going to make him very, very effective uh, for this boss battle. That's why I put him in that top two for the category uh, itself. Um, but also that somebody you can use uh, if you got Mutant Doink uh, high enough. Uh, he's going to turn um, Color Gems, the same idea as Devon. Uh, color Turn Gems, turn them into Multiplies, Multiplies into uh, Color Turns into Purple. So you're going to be able to hopefully break a few Multiply Gems at the same time. Uh, so Mutant Doink might be another option. And further on in that category of people to work with, um, I believe 
Ministry Taker was another one uh, that was on my list. Maybe running something of this nature, putting the cross breaks in the middle, make two columns and multiply nines, and then choose um, turn many of them into purple gems as well. It's not the easiest one to work with uh, in that sense, but again, you're trying to create purple gem, multiply gem uh, damage, so that's uh, something else you can look at. Uh, just right off the top before anybody yells at me, uh, Wes Lee is going to be someone who's going to work really well to um, turning a whole bunch of gems into multiply gems uh, and making those gems. Uh, unfortunately, the, you're going to turn those ones into blue ones, but these ones um, are going to turn into snowfall purple, and that's where you get all the extra bonus damage for that one. So Wes Lee is somebody else uh, you can think about in this category to go along with Thrasher. Uh, although not my favorite uh, for this, but he does make multiply gems. You're going to destroy a bunch of them. You're probably going to choose them into purple, and that's going to be the majority of the damage. So Thrasher is also somebody else we can look at. Uh, if we go down to the very bottom, because he's someone that I don't have. Uh, the Tech Razor Ramon, not the best one for this, um, but he is going to make multiplies. He's going to make a lot of them, destroy them as well. Uh, random purples into multiply gems, so that's going to be able, uh, and then greens into purple. So he does have a purple move set that can be uh, effective uh, within this. Uh, let's get back to doing stuff like that. And uh, it was not you guys. It was, hold on. It was this side of the screen. So uh, Judgment Day Finn Balor might be somebody that you could look at um, turning uh, those are countdown gems increasing your purple gem damage that's the one right there so using his sling blade as the catalyst for his other moves so that's one that you can use I mean if you're really desperate and you have him sort of high enough uh, here's somebody else that you can use not that move set but a move set that actually makes uh, purple gems. So make a lot of random purple gems. Not very good, but again, we're just looking for people that can help us. Definitely not the best one uh, that's out there for sure. Uh, a lot of y'all took him up for different requirements recently. So somebody else to think of making prote protect gems. And then he Purple. Oh, he has bonus damage. There it is. The finisher has the bonus damage for every protect gem. So Bubba Ray Dudley might actually be someone that you could think about using as well. And I think that's it for this category. So we're going to move on to the aggressive uh, category. And so I've already got some calls uh, within here. So uh, someone that you could even use might be someone like a tech Jimmy Uso of the Bloodline, not the green move set, uh, but someone who does make multiplies, um, black gems into multiplies, and then he can choose them into purple afterwards. Again, not the greatest of setups, but he does get a boss uh, moment, so that's always worthwhile. So I had a hard time with aggressive choosing between, and I did end up going with uh, Striker Braun as probably being the best one in there in the other video. But another someone who's going to be really good, uh, someone who has uh, gears that start with more move points if you actually have them. So Muhammad Ali, the striker version, the greatest, uh, does also have the ability to make a lot of multiply gems uh, on the board. And this move right here turns uh, the multiply gems into purples afterwards. So uh, that is someone that I thought was also going to be really powerful that you can use. So if you have him, he's going to be a really good option as well. I always like the chance to bring in uh, the muscle man and doing the muscle man dance. Uh, he can swap into uh, purple gems, um, but that's really about all he can do. So given that he does make multiply gems though. So multiply gems, you'd probably just use uh, these couple together, but it's not the most effective, but it is someone who does both of those things at the same time. I just wanted to bring him in because he is the muscle man. And I love him. So it's not that one. Uh, next on the list was Hall of Fame Brutus. And he was another one. He was sort of in the in the ranking for that one as well, too. Especially if you got both of his gears. You got the extra trap gem damage. is not so much of a an issue right here. But someone that can 
increase purple gem damage swap into purple um, and then if broken by you this is where turning that off becomes a wonderful thing we're going to make four random gems into black gem so it will reload itself um, but it is somebody who gets extra purple gem damage and you can break uh, some purple gems with him so Brutus would be um, someone who will do a, a pretty good job maybe not as good as the other ones uh, that I have mentioned and I'm not sure if there's anybody else that I liked within here doing purple gem damage there's lots of people that break purple gems in this category and that can that can do that kind of stuff but there was no one else that I thought that was exceptional to throw in the bargain bin let me know in the bargain bin if there's anybody else aggressively uh, that you like uh, and then in this category over here there's, there's just not a lot this is one of your boss breaker categories where you just need that defensive hand to come in uh, but Gunther was the one that I had thought about um, he does make a lot of silence gems you can then make those silence gems into purple um, with these two moves right here back to back I wouldn't actually run uh, do the third move right there but he actually doesn't have anything that makes multiplies or anything else so great for the shield so if you're looking for a shield breaker uh, he's going to be an excellent option uh, for that one person who has a lot of purple gem damage but doesn't really make a lot of purple uh, himself is actually Ezekiel 350% for one turn is super nice but he has no real you get to choose with the finisher it's it's an awkward setup no matter how you do his moves and that's why no one ever really uses him anymore but he could be somebody you use in in this if you can find a way to use him absolutely please let me know uh, JD Dom might be somebody else that you can use uh, from this category um, trap gems into purple so you'll be using the purple move set um, instead for him again none of it uh, that I've located is ideal unfortunately uh, one that I don't have who might actually be another good I'm so close uh, a good card to use for this um, in the sense that he does make purple gems but his his stuff makes purple move damage more so but he does make traps into purple. Um, not ideal again, but if you've, if you've got Bubba, you've probably already taken him up all the way to the top. So he could be someone very effective um, in the category as well. I think that's all in that category that you can use. Oh, wait, there was one more. I paused the video just so I could see it. I forgot to go here. If you actually have the one, two, three kid up high enough, uh, he's somebody else that does damage per protect gem that you might actually look for. So, in ter again, in terms of the, uh, you don't need to be here because you're not part of the bargain bin. You're not part of this bin, you're part of this bin. Um, one thing I will say overall, once we get to the end of this right now, is that anybody can be used in the boss battle. Some are just more effective than any than others, but try to bring somebody that's gonna do some damage and, and help out your team if that is the, the overall look the overall reason that you're taking people from uh, the bargain bin itself so just just be aware that if i miss anybody here it's not because i don't think they're effective it's just that they're not going to be the most effective um or i've simply just maybe i just have overlooked them it's okay to make mistakes so anybody that i did overlook and i didn't put in here put them in the comments help other people uh with ideas about whom we could use uh, this weekend against or this midweek against Cody Rhodes. Thanks for coming to class. Appreciate you being here. Give it the old like, share, and subscribe. Bro Fesser out.